looking for die down the right side and he's open at the 30 he's at the 20 and dragged down at the nardonia 15 yard line a big connection it was isaac cantor who made a touchdown saving tackle on die at the 15 and that's the first big play of the night pollock to Jaden Dye. Dye came into this game as their leading receiver, 733 yards on the night, but that is the biggest play of the night so far for Twinsburg. Pollock to throw again, looking for Dye again, and he's got it! And he's in for the touchdown! Pollock to Dye, 15 yards, and Twinsburg takes the lead! at six to three with two minutes and 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Pollock now, back to Straczynski once again, up the middle, legs moving, driving forward, and he is close to another first down, and he has got it, they are moving the stick. He needed four, he got four and a half. Clock runs, 6.55 to go in the game, and the Tigers now, with a fresh set of downs, looking to either tie it with a field goal or take the lead with a touchdown. Pollock wants to throw, and he's got his man in the flat, and it's gonna be a touchdown! It's Cam Wright! Makes the catch at the five, squirted away, and scores! And Twinsburg, just like that, right back in the lead at 13 to 10. What a game! It's, it's as if they think they're gonna break one at any moment. As Petit goes in motion right to left, Chester wants to throw and he wants to throw deep. Rolls left, throws and he's got a man! And it's a touchdown! Mike Ebert on the 34 yard touchdown pass from Ben Chester and Nordonia retakes the lead at nine to seven. Chester to throw, under pressure, right side, into the end zone, ball is intercepted by the Tigers! And it's Jaden Dye with the interception, and the Twinsburg Tigers are gonna win it, folks. They are gonna pull off the upset. They are going home winners tonight, folks. Their first playoff appearance in 13 years, their first playoff win in 13 years after a three and seven season last year they have turned it around completely and have not only made the playoffs this year but they have won a playoff game on the road the twinsburg tigers rewriting the record books here tonight what a performance coach charles salter the first black head coach in the Suburban League came over from Bedford two years ago, talked about having a four-year plan. Last year, it was just about everybody getting on the same page, understanding the culture, re-changing some things, getting, getting everything in place. This year, he wanted to build on it, and boy, has he built on it. He, he not only built on it, he has got himself a whole neighborhood already, folks as victory formation. The Tigers take a knee and that is it, folks. This ball game is over. The Twinsburg Tigers will move on to play the winner of Painesville Riverside and Maple Heights next week in the second round of the OHSAA playoffs. What an outstanding game, folks. And this is why it is tough to beat. Ohio high school football playoffs because you never know what you're going to see. So, the final score here in Macedonia at Nordonia High School, it's the Twinsburg Tigers with their first playoff win in 13 years. The Tigers win it over Nordonia 22 to 10 for videographer Frank Kurtz. I'm Dave Grinjinski. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.